Well, finally, that repressed perspective is the only perspective I've ever really known. My greater challenge is not how to tell that story, but how not to tell that story. Um, one of the things that drew me to In the Kingdom of Men, which is set in 1960s Saudi Arabia, and it's a story of a young uh, wife, very young wife, um, from Oklahoma, who's married to a roughneck who finds a job working for Aramco, the Arabian American Oil Company in Saudi Arabia. And she follows her husband over there for this promise of this new life. Workers for Aramco made, as my uncle said, made more money than they knew what to do with. What drew me to my main character story, Jen McPhee, is that she comes out of that impoverished background. Um, she's been raised by her grandfather who's a Methodist minister, the old-fashioned Methodist, which was, gave rise, in fact, to the Pentecostal fundamentalism in which I was raised. So Jen's story, in a way, is very similar to my story, uh, being raised in this very strict fundamentalist religion where women are to be silent and submissive. They can't cut their hair. Their hair is the veil of modesty. It's their veil and they have to wear long sleeves, high necks. So when Jen goes to Arabia, to the kingdom, what she finds is something that is actually very familiar to her, a fundamentalist religion that punishes women for immodesty, uh, that insists, insists on uh, absolute obedience. And if the, if the woman does not abide by that, she will be punished. That is the story of my life as well.